Okay, hello, welcome back everybody. We are back in Scum, right where we left off last time. When we explored the submarine base down here. So today I was thinking we should drive up here, take a quick look-see in the town here, then follow the road to the safe zone here, try and sell some stuff to the vendors and uh, start exploring B sector. I don't think we're gonna go through everything. Maybe just drive through some of the towns. They're pretty much the same, all of them, and have the same kind of loot. So we're definitely gonna check out this area, at least drive through the towns here. And I think there's a hospital here and we got the, the stuff over here to check out. We do need some food. We do have a lot of stuff to sell in our vehicle. Got a bunch of crap. We don't need all of this. So yeah, let's get into that and I will catch you pretty soon. Oh, I think, isn't that the door we're missing? I think this is the door we're missing. Let's bring that with us. I'm not sure. I don't really remember to be honest, but we'll see. I think it's the right door. That would be awesome if it was. But let's keep on moving and see if we can get up to that city. Okay, so we are coming up on Blato which looks, at least on a map, to be a fairly large is town. It's like there's a convenience store right ahead we could check out. There's a police station. Yeah, we need to check for some food, so... Not really anything we need, as I say, so we'll be fairly quick about going through here. We are at a point where we're pretty well, well set. So we could... Uh, do we have cash on us? Dude, I don't even think I... Oh, I knew it. Uh, deposit, how much do we have? Oh, we have like a bunch of money on us, so... Do it like that. Uh, no. Oh, shit. Did not see you there, buddy. We woke someone up. Cool little town. Not really anything we need, so we're just gonna keep moving and see if we can get to the. We need some gas soon, but we need to get to the safe zone and empty out our inventory. We got so much stuff to sell. So let's uh, head to the safe zone here in uh, the B sector. This is cool. Dude, it really sounds like one of my tires are gonna blow in a second. We might have to look into that, but we are heading for the safe zone. So we'll go through here later. I mean, we're... Uh, I saw that they were gonna add quests to the game, and I'm really excited about that. That gives us more of a purpose. Because currently, we're just 
messing around. We're like kind of past the point of survival-ish. Because we got all we need in regards to that. So there's really nothing else to do other than explore like we do now. You know? Unless you're really into building bases and stuff like that. But not everyone is that. And once you reach like a certain point in a the game, there's nothing left to do. We're going the wrong way. So, and we kind of passed that point because we, we got our, well, not base. We got a fence around a cabin, which works. We got storage, we got what we need to survive in the world and everything. So we're pretty much set in that regard. And without any quests or anything like that, there's like not much to do other than what we're currently doing. So I'm really looking forward for them to add quests and stuff into the game. It's gonna be a great addition. Not to just this game, but other games like this. Kinda needs something to keep the player going. The game needs more game. Put it like that. So hopefully that will be fun. Not saying that this is not fun, because I really like exploring different worlds like this. But yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And you can argue, well, go on a PvP server and do all that stuff, do PvP. Well, I don't necessarily think that's the solution to everything. But sometimes PvP are fun if you're on a decent server. If you're on a public server or something like that, good luck. But I'm sure, that adds more game to a game, I guess. But a bunch of us just like to chill out and play in PvE. So we'll see, I'm just rambling at this point. What is this? This is like a mini airfield. This is cool. We do need to take the plane for a ride. So let's see if we can sell some guns to our trader in here. Armory. Okay, so that's done. We sold some crap and I bought some food and some uh, shotgun ammo. And some ammo for the pistol. So we should be good to go. Let's see, can we join? We can. Wait, there's only six in each. We should be good to go. So let's see. Let's check out this area. Oh, that was the town. Let's just go for a drive and see where we end up, I guess. Not all the towns are, are uh, like, I mean, they're pretty much the same. So we're not going to spend too much time going through them. We do need to find a place to fuel up and there should, there's a gas station here. So let's go through this, through here, down to the gas station and work our way up. Is this like a, a train yard kind of thing looks like? So let's just go for go for a ride, I guess. How are we doing on fuel? Let's see if we can get some fuel and get going. Yeah, I we really need to. I'm just gonna hold, hold, hold. How do we we need to figure out this? How do we fix tires? That's car tire repair kits. No, do we need it up on the? Do we need it up on the car jack? Okay, we do not get any... Let's try this. Hopefully this works. Service vehicle, yes. And if we then do a tire repair kit, we are not gonna remove it. And service repair, okay. That one doesn't need to be repaired. That one doesn't need to be repaired. C 
see, why don't I get the option here? It's so weird. We get the option to remove, but we don't get it here. Why don't we? I don't understand. We do end service. We lost our car track. Holy crap, that's annoying. Is it? Am I just stupid? That might be. But why could we? Why did we get the repair on these two wheels and not the other two? And it is really freaking annoying that the car jack just falls down the ground, I guess it does, when you end the service. So I really do hope they fix that. But then again, if they could, why aren't it already fixed? Because it is an issue that's been there for a while. And I don't, it did not put it in my. No, it's gone. Okay. So I guess we're not messing with that anymore, but it is really weird that we didn't get the option to repair on the other wheels. So we'll hold off with that for a second, I guess. So let's go for a drive. That's what I'm thinking. But it, yeah, let me let me know down in the comments uh, what you think about I'm thirsty. Uh, not what you think about me being thirsty, but what do you think about the adding quests to to the game? I think it's a great addition. I think it's in general it's a problem with most survival games that if they don't have tasks or quests and stuff to do in the world after you pretty much manage your survival it kind of dies off you know because you can only survive or go through the game for so long i mean the best part of games like this at least for me and i'm only speaking for myself but i'm really interested to know what you guys think down in the comments the most fun part for me is when you start out fresh and you're kind of learning the game. You need to figure out how shit works to get your survival going and all that stuff. And once you do that over multiple hours or how long it takes you to master that, to get to, get to the point in the game, where you're pretty much set and then there's like for many games nothing left to do if there's no tasks or anything like that in the game i mean dead side has the same issue dead side is such a cool and unique game in many ways but once you reach a certain point you've done the missions you got the gear you got your base then there's like nothing more to do so it's not just a scum or dead side problem it's like a more of a universal survival game problem as long as there's no end end game or end goal i should put it you know i mean in sons of the forest your goal is to solve the mystery on the island and at what pace you do that it's kind of up to you but once you've done that and you do uh, spoiler alert <laughs> you get a choice at the end of what you want to do but if you stick on the island i mean then it's all about just building basically there's no deeper meaning to the game after you completed uh, the main storyline and that's okay, but for games like uh, Dead Side and Scum that don't have like a set end goal other than surviving, you kind of you kind of reach a point where you okay, now what? But you know, you know what I'm talking about probably, and I'm just rambling, just rambling. 
But this is cool town. I kind of wish there was more diversity in the towns. All the towns and villages pretty much look the same. And have the same uh, loot as far as I can tell. So let's see. See if we can head up to this one. Is that a goat? And I mean, we are playing a single player. And it's probably more... I don't want to say fun, because I'm still having fun. But it's probably a different experience playing it with uh, others. Playing it with other friends. But even then, at a certain point, there's it's going to die out. Because even with friends... You master you collected all your resources, you build your base, you explored the various locations on the map, then what is there left to do, you know? So I think the point being in ranting like this, I just wish there was more game to the game and scum is adding more game to the game which is awesome and i'm really looking forward to that it's gonna be really interesting to see how they implement it i think they're gonna use the cell phones and stuff like that so we'll see how it uh, works out we will see but let's follow this road and see where we uh, where we head where we end up oh hello do we need to uh... Yes, we do. Going this way. How long is this dude gonna run after us? Very long. <laughs> Can we bring you along, buddy? Oh, you fell. He died. Poor guy. Again. Okay, we didn't see. Didn't see a sign here, so I don't know what this place is called. Let's take a quick look before we head to a gas station. Pretty cool. This is a decent sized... Decent sized town. Okay, I'm just thinking which gas station... Let's head down to this gas station, then drive up to the train. What looks like the train station up there. Okay, gas station. Should be, yep. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, there's... Okay, there's a happy over there. What are these dudes? Oh, it's rocks. I thought there was zombies lying down. What I thought. Tilly me. Kinda looked like it. Oh, he's up on the roof. One too. Okay. Get some fuel, get the arrows back, and we should be good to move on. Easy. Okay, arrows. It's 
sun is setting too. Okay, we got gas, we got our arrows back, but I think this is gonna be it for this one. Nothing too crazy, obviously, and just uh, kinda exploring. All these small towns are pretty much the same, but in the next one, I think we're gonna head up to this. I think this is a train yard thing. Then we most definitely gonna try and get an airplane and get some flying around here, but that is going to be in the next one. So if you made it this far, that's really awesome. Thank you. Please leave a thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube thingy. And I will catch you in the next one.